players have been especially selected today to play television's richest game. Jack Campion is a lawyer who always plays to win. Maggie Brown says she never even thinks about losing. And Matt Dorff tells us he thinks the guy who says winning isn't everything is crazy. But only one of them can play and win today as they play television's most exciting and challenging new game, Press Your Luck. One game where there's virtually no limit to how much money a player can win. And now, let's learn a little something about the three very competitive players who'd be pressing their luck today, starting with Jack. Hi, Peter. I'm Jack Campion. I'm a lawyer here in Los Angeles, specializing in personal injury defense. And I'm thinking about going into parachuting. <laughs> this you is a hire another lawyer to help you. <laughs> right. Parachuting. Think it over, Jack, will you? I will. Okay. Let's meet our second player, Maggie. Hi, Peter. My name's Maggie Brown, and I own a business. We make... Space helmets, police, badges, armor, anything that clanks and clunks. Space helmet, a lot of calling for space helmets. Yeah, right? now these days. Welcome to Press Your Luck, Thank Maggie. You. Let's meet our third player, Matt. Hi, Peter. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. I'm currently a screenwriter, and I just sold my first screenplay. Hey, terrific. Congratulations, Matt. Hey. Well done. Let's hope that luck continues on Press Your Luck. All right, players, I'm going to ask you questions, and your correct answers will earn you spins at the big Press Your Luck game board. The more spins you have, the more money you can win, because our board is loaded with thousands of dollars in cash and fabulous prizes. And every time you stop the board like this, stop, you'll add money to your total, as I just did when I added 750 to mine, unless, of course, you hit a whammy. If you do that, that little devil's going to come out and take back everything you've won, so you want to be very careful. The play with the highest total at the end of the game gets to keep it all, return tomorrow, and do it all over again. Are you all ready to press your luck? Yes. Go. All right, it sounds like you are. Here is the first question. What movie has been shown on American TV more than any other? Matt. The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, Matt says. All right, Matt, if you are right, you're going to pick up three spins at that big board. I'm going to rephrase the question for Jack and Maggie using Max, Matt's answer and two other answers. If Jack or Maggie get it right, they get a spin apiece. Here's the question. The most shown movie on TV is either The Wizard of Oz, as Matt said, Gone with the Wind, or Casablanca. Jack, what do you think? You know, I think it's Casablanca. You do? Yeah. All right, that's one Casablanca to you, Maggie. That's I'm another it. Casablanca. Two Casablancas is correct. It is Casablanca. That means Jack and Maggie each pick up a spin. Matt stays, stays in waiting, as it were. This next question could change Matt's predicament. Listen carefully, because this is a long one. Psychologists tell us that people pick their favorite color according to their needs and personality. If you have a desire for stability, harmony, and even life, what is your favorite color? Matt. Blue. Blue, Matt says. All right, I would have said that too, Matt, but what do I know? You may be right. If so, you pick up three spins. Jack and Maggie, here's the question for you. Stability, harmony, and even life means your color is blue, as Matt said. Yellow or brown? Jack. Mine wasn't in there. I, I'll, I'll go with blue. You that go with sounds blue. Sounds good. Why not? Maggie? I'm going to go with blue also. Three blue. You are all right. It is blue. <laughs> Indeed. Jack has two spins. Maggie's two. And Matt's got three. I knew you'd jump in, Matt. All right. Here's our third question. And make sure you hear the entire question on this one. Now, we're talking about all the countries in the whole world. What is the most common first name in the world for a man? Jack. I think it's John. John. All right, sounds reasonable to me. Let's see if you're right. You get three spins if you are. Maggie and Matt, here it is rephrased. The world's most common first name for a man is either John, as Jack said, Muhammad, or Ho. <laughs> ho. Not in Santa Claus, Ho, just Ho. Maggie, what do you think? <laughs> Muhammad. Muhammad for Maggie. Matt. Muhammad for me. Also. Two Muhammads and uh, Kiria. You are right, it is Muhammad. <laughs> You are right, Jack. I would have said John, but what do I know? All right, Jack has two spins, Maggie three, Matt four. Here we go to our fourth question. According to Security World magazine, what item of clothing is most likely to be lifted by shoplifters? Maggie. Socks. Socks. You said that with great authority, Maggie. If you're right, three spins for you, Jack and Matt. Here's the question rephrased. The most often stolen item of clothing, clothing is either socks, as Maggie said, bras, or sweaters. Jack? 
I'll go out on a limb for bras. <laughs> Quite literally on a limb, Jack. Okay, bras for Jack. Ordering up two. Matt, what do you think? Um, I'll be different with sweaters. You'll be different. Everybody picks different. It happens to be socks. Maggie oh, is the yes. Well done, Maggie. All right. That gives Jack two spins. Maggie six. Matt four. Here's our fifth and final quiz jump. Only one of our 50 states does not have an official nickname. What is it? Jack. Alaska. Alaska, Jack says. If you're right, Jack, three spins for you. Maggie and Matt, here's the question rephrased. The only state without a nickname is either Alaska, as Jack said, Texas, or California. Maggie. Uh, California, yes. California, yes for Maggie. <laughs> Not quite sure. Matt, what do you think? Um, I'll say California. Two Californians and Alaskan. Alaskan is correct, uh Jack. Texas is Lone Star, California is the Golden State. All right, Jack has five spins, Maggie has six spins, and Matt has five spins. That was the last question in round one. And in just a moment, players, you'll have a chance to convert your spins into big pressure luck dollars on the game board right after this. As you can see, there are prizes, surprises, and over $13,000 in cash and a few whammies up there. So each time you spin, you have a chance to add anywhere from $100 to $1,250 to your total. And you'll notice that our board is constantly changing. Now we're going to find out just how courageous you are, just how much confidence you have. Because if you don't want to press your luck, you can pass your remaining spins to another player at any time and or during your turn and protect your winnings. Remember that it's always possible that the next spin or the next spin could be a whammy. And if you hit him and lose it all, you're going to go back to zero. So everything is at stake each time you spin. And if you pick up four whammies, you are out of the game. History, gone. Bye-bye. Okay, we got that? All right, Matt, we inadvertently gave you uh, extra credit for your answer of California. We gave you five spins. You really only have four spins. That's right. Okay. All right, the player with the fewer spins is Matt. And that means you have the distinction of playing first. It is time to press your luck. Let's do it. Go for it, Matt. Stop. Stop at $550. Good start, Matt. All right, 550, three spins left. I gather you're going. Let's go. Here we go. Stop. Stop. Oh, look out. Oh, man. Back up. <laughs> did, he, did he get your finger, Matt? No, no. No, you're okay. You got yeah, ten fingers. You may want to count them. Last time he got the contestant's finger. All right, we got two spins left, Matt. You got one whammy and no dollars. What are you going to do? I need dollars. So need dollars. Start. Okay, here we go. Stop. Stop at move one space to Mazatland, or you can pick up $200 in one spin. Which do you want? $200. $200 in a spin. Okay, Matt. I give you $200, and now you've got your two spins. You want to do it again? Yes, yeah, okay. Risk your luck. Here we go. Stop. Stop at $1,000. Coming back into the chip. 1,200 bucks. You've got yourself one spin left. You can pass or press your luck. I'll pass. You're going to pass it. All right. Who are you going to pass it to? I have my choice. You have your choice of who you can pass it to. Um, Matt. <laughs> All right, Maggie, you've got a spin passed to you from Matt. You have to take it. One of them. Here we go with the board. Stop. Stop at $500. Okay. Matt's strategy didn't exactly work. $500 for Maggie. Now you've got your six spins that you can either pass or press your luck and take. Well, let's go for Here a while. Go. All right, six spins. Here we go. No whammy. Stop. Stop at Mazatlan. Right. You got the trip that Matt turned down. Four days in Mazatlan for two. A value of $721. Okay, Maggie, $1,221. You are now in first place. Five spins left. You can elect to press your luck, or you can pass those spins back to Matt, because Matt is the player with the most money next to you. And if you pass, that's who it has to go to. Press my luck! Press for it. Okay, Maggie. Stop! Stop at $300. $15.21 for you, Maggie. Four spins left. You want to press, press your luck or pass? Let's go. I'm going to go for it. All right. Pressing your luck. Stop! Stop at $350. All right, Maggie, that's 1871. That was a good year. You got three spins left. You can press your luck or pass. Three spins left. One. Oh, the old proverbial one. Okay, Maggie, here we go. Maggie's going to go for one, she said. Stop, Stop at $500 right next to that, Maggie. That gives you 2371. You've got two spins left. You can press your luck or pass your spins to Matt. Mm. 
You're going to give them to Matt? Matt's uh, Matt. Turn about fair play, Matt. You get two spins. You've got to take $1,200 at stake. Here we go. Stop. Stop at $550. All right, Matt, you're in second place. $1,750. One more spin you have to take. Here we go. Go. Stop. Oh, Matt. Back off, Matt. Here he comes again. <laughs> Stand back when he does that. Oh, Maggie's strategy worked. Matt, you're down to no dollars, two whammies. Maggie's got $2,371. You can sit a while and think about it, Matt, while we go over and talk to Jack, who's got five spins. He hasn't even begun yet, right? Right. All right, Jack, you got $2,371 to beat. You ready? Let's go. Rest your luck. Stop. Stop at $750. All right, Jack, as you can see, you're in second place. You can elect to press your luck or pass your spins to Maggie. I'm greedy. Let's All go ahead. Right, I'll go press my luck. Stop. Stop at $100 and you picked up the spin. $850 for you, Jack. You still got your four spins. Press your luck or pass. I'm still too far behind. I'll go. All right, here we go. Stop. Stop at $100. Doing it slowly but surely, Jack. $940. Three spins. Press your luck or pass. I'll press my luck. All right, here he goes luck. again. Stop. Stop it. Oh, oh. another one. Watch it. Watch your fingers, Jack. <laughs> He is. Hateful as ever. You got yourself no dollars, two spins, one whammy. But the two spins can help you get some money back, unless you want to pass them over to Maggie. No, let's try and catch up. Want to get some money? Oh, All right, here good. goes. Stop. Hundred dollars. Okay. Sorry. Back in the chips, Jack. One spin left. You want to pass it to Maggie? You want to go for some I'm more money? I'm gonna press my luck. More money for you, Jack. Stop. Oh, oh another one. He's having a field day. <laughs> It's one thing when he takes your money, it's another when he laughs at you. I know how you feel, Jack. All right, Jack's got no dollars and two whammies. Let's see, Matt's got no dollars and two whammies, and Maggie's got $2,371 and no whammies. That means you're the leader, Maggie. This is your two later is a mighty big advantage. And we'll be right back with more questions, spins, prizes, surprises, right after this. Players, I've got five more questions for you, and of course that translates to five more golden opportunities to pick up some spins at the big board. And remember, the more spins you have, the more money you can win at that big board, and the player with the most money at the end of this round takes it home with him today and gets to come back tomorrow and do it again. All right, are you ready for your first question? Ready? Yes. All right, so am I. What unusual natural ingredient causes the shine in expensive eyeshadow? Maggie, well, you're the woman, you should answer this. Uh, coal. Coal. What do I know? Coal. Sounds good to me, Maggie. If you're right, you're going to pick up three big spins. I'll rephrase the questions for Jack and Matt using Maggie's answer and two others. If you guys get it correctly, you get a spin apiece. The shine in eye, eye shadow comes from either coal, as Maggie said, mica, or fish scales. <laughs> Jack, what do you think? It sounds too far out. It's got to be the answer. Fish scales. Fish scales. Yeah. Jack goes for fish scales. Maggie goes for uh, whatever, and Matt goes for what he wants. Mica. Mica. It's fish scales. <laughs> it's fish scales. I didn't know that. Did anybody know that? You didn't Obviously even... not. <laughs> <laughs> Quite so. Jack picked up a spin, however. Here we go to our second question. Many women are making it big as presidents of large companies these days. What's the name of the firm headed up by Gene Neidich? Jack. Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers, says Jack. Interesting answer. Let's see if he's right. If so, he picks up three spins. Maggie and Matt. Gene Neidich is the top honcho at either Weight Watchers, Washington Post, or Mary Kay Cosmetics. Maggie, what do you think? Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers, says Maggie. Matt? I'll go with the crowd, Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers, you went with the crowd, and you're right, it is Weight Watchers. Jack got four spins, Maggie won, and Matt won. Here we go with our third question. What celebrated day comes before All Saints Day? Jack? Halloween. Halloween, says Jack. If you're right, three spins. Jackie, <laughs> Maggie's trying to figure out if Jack's bluffing. We'll find out. Maggie and Matt, here's Jack's answer and two others. The day before All Saints Day is best known as Halloween, as Jack said. Easter or Ash Wednesday. What do you think, Matt? You think Jack's bluffing? I'm not sure, but I'm going to say Halloween anyway. You're going to go with Jack. Halloween, says Maggie. Matt? Um, 
I'll say Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. You should have gone Halloween, Matt, because that's the answer. <laughs> Jack right. Seven spins for Jack, two for Maggie, one for Matt. All right, here we go to our fourth question. Of the original Charlie's Angels, she's the only one who's had a baby. Who is she? Matt. Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline Smith, Matt says. He seems pretty sure of himself. Let's see if he's right. Three spins if he is. The only original Charlie's Angels who's a mama is either Jacqueline Smith, as Matt said, Kate Jackson, or Vera Fawcett. Jack? I've got no idea, but Matt sounded so confident. I'll say <laughs> Jacqueline Smith. <laughs> You're an honest man, Jack. Maggie? Jacqueline Smith, definitely. Three Jacqueline Smiths. Indeed, you are all correct. It is Jacqueline Smith. Jack has eight spins. Maggie had three, and Matt jumped up to four. Here's our fifth and final question, and it could change some of these scores. The Z, I, and P in zip code are initials for an official longer title. What does the P in zip stand for, Jack? Postal. Postal, says Jack. If he's right, three big spins. Here we go for Maggie and Matt. The P in zip code stands for postal, as Jack said. Plan or program? What do you think, Maggie? Program. Maggie says program. What are you going to go with, Matt? Plan. Plan. You went with the right answer, Matt. It is plan. All right. Jack winds up with eight spins, Maggie with three, and Matt has five. That's our final question. And in just a moment, our players will be taking their spins to the big boards. Decide who the winner will be on Trust Your Luck right after this. Players, we weren't kidding when we said earlier that the sky's the limit on Trust Your Luck because, as you can see, the value of the board has changed dramatically. Not only are the prizes even more fabulous, but there's over $50,000 in cash up there waiting to be won. Now, in any single spin, you can pick up anywhere from $500 to $5,000. But let me caution you that the one thing that hasn't changed is the proverbial whammy. So, you want to be very careful. Let's take a look at the money totals and other totals. We've got Jack with no dollars and two whammies. Eight spins. We've got Maggie with $2,371 and no whammies. Three spins. And we've got Mac with no dollars, two whammies, and five spins. Now, the player with the most money, of course, is Maggie. Remember, I told you there's a big advantage in having the most money in round one. Indeed, there is. And that means that you will be the last to play your spins and miss the final round, which ultimately puts you in control of the game. Nice position to be in, Maggie. So sit back and relax. Now the player with the least money, and that's a tie between Jack and Matt. We decided before the game began that the player to my left would go first in the event of a tie. And that means, Jack, you have the dubious distinction of going first on Press Your Luck. So, eight big ones, Jack. Ah, stop at $1,500. Okay. Good start, Jack. Seven spins left. Press Your Luck to pass. Press my luck. Pressing, right. all right. Ah, stop at another $1,500, Jack. $3,000, you've got six spins left. You are in first place. Maggie has $2,371. You can either press your luck or pass those six spins to Maggie. Let's play. Let's Good play. play. Jack wants some money. Stop. Stop. Oh, oh no. <laughs> The whammy hurt greed. The whammy red greed on your face and jumped out. Oh, uh, okay, Jack. You've got three whammies, no dollars. you got five spins, but you got three whammies. One more whammy, you're out of the game. So you can either, <laughs> I, I figured you knew, you can pass those spins to Maggie or make some money. I've got to get some money before I pass, so okay. I'm going to press my luck. Convince me, Jack. <laughs> ah, video recorder and camera, valued at $1,195. Came back, Jack. You're back in the money. You've got four spins left. You want to press your luck or pass? Let's try it again. Three whammies. We don't want another whammy. Here we go. Stop. Stop at $700 and you picked up a spin. All right, Jack, 1895, you still have four spins. Press your luck or pass. I'll press my luck. All right, Jack, we don't want a whammy. Stop. Stop at $1,000. All right, Jack, built yourself back up to first place at 2895. You've got three spins left. You can pass them to Maggie, or you can try to make some more money. You've got three whammies. I'm going to pass them to Maggie. Pretty wise, Jack. Pretty wise. All right, Maggie, you've got three you've got to take, but you're going to sit pretty while we go over and talk to Matt, who has... Five spins and two whammies. All right, Matt, are you ready to press your luck? Let's go for it. Stop. Stop at the Delta Queen. All right. That's a trip on the Mississippi on the Delta Queen. Seven days for two people, valued at $2,862. All right, Matt. 
That gives you about $32 less than Jack has. You are in solid second place. So Gotta you go can, again. Gotta go. You're gonna go for it? All right. Best of your luck. $62. Four spins. Matt, first place by about $4,000. You can pass those spins to Jack or you can make some more money. What do you want to do? Remember, Jack's it's not got great, I promise, but I'll go again. You're going to go again? You can pick up anywhere from $500 to $5,000 or one spin, $1,500. All right, Matt. $8,362 puts you almost over $5,000 ahead of Jack. Three spins left. Press your luck or pass. Remember, Jack's got three whammies. You have two. Oh, where they go? Jack, you got three. The last thing you want's a whammy. Three you've got to take. Twenty-eight ninety-five. Are you ready? No. Well, you're going to have to go anyway. Here we go. No whammies. Ha. Oh, Jack. Oh. Jack's All right, Jack, you're out of the game. Sit back and relax. Contemplate your hate for the whammy. And we now go to Maggie. Maggie has $2,371 against Matt's $8,362. You have three spins. You've got to take no choice. They were passed to you. Are you ready, Maggie? Yes, sir. Here we go. Stop. Stop at $2,000, Maggie. That's $4,371. You're about $4,000 beneath Matt. You've got two more you've got to take. Here we go. Stop. Stop at $1,500, Maggie. So far, so good. 5,871, one more you must take. Here, let's do it. Get it out of the way. Stop! Stop at $750. All right, Maggie. You saved off the whammy, $6,621. Obviously, second place, given where Jack is. You have three spins now. You can do whatever you wish. You can pass them to Matt, or you can make some more money. He has two whammies. I must press my luck here. You must press on. Maggie presses on. Stop! Stop at $2,000, Maggie. Now you're in a different position because you have $8,621. You're about $300 ahead of Matt. First place, you can pass those spins to Matt, or you can press your luck. <laughs> one more. One more, Maggie. You've got no whammies, Maggie. The old one more routine. I've heard that before. Let's hope it doesn't backfire on you. Stop! Stop at 12 and Maggie, you have $9,821. You have one spin left, Maggie. You can elect to pass that spin over to Matt in hopes that he hits a whammy or less than what you have. Or you can, you can take it in control yourself and hope that you don't hit a whammy. Because a whammy for you does the same thing it does for Jack. I know. Puts you out of the game, ostensibly. I, uh, I've got to do it. You're going to do it. Go. Maggie's going to go for it. All right, Maggie. But you don't want a whammy here. This is going to determine the winner of the game. Stop! Two going away empty-handed to get you some valuable parting gifts for you. Matt, you were in the driver's seat for a while. You thought you were going home with it. But things can change in Press Your Luck. And thank you for joining us, both Jack and Matt. And Maggie, will see you tomorrow. And until then, remember, the whammy is really sort of a cute little guy, as long as he only shows up when someone else is spinning. This is Peter Jamarkin saying so long for Press Your Luck.